hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial so today I'll be showing you how to crack a very famous file archiver called WinRAR so are ready let's get started so in this tutorial we'll be using a very old version of WinRAR it's WinRAR 3.30 so in order to show you how to reverse engineer it and to crack it I'll be installing this uh, application here so me I already installed it and now let's get and uh, execute it okay so when you execute this uh, shareware actually you will find that at the top of it it shows that it's a variation copy okay and here you have what we call nag dialog box Please note that WinRAR is shareware, so after 40 days trial period, you must either register or remove it from your computer. So me, I will try to reverse engineer it and to crack it, okay? So the first hint that we have is this uh, caption here in our title bar. It's called evaluation copy. So let's fire up our famous disassembler so I'll be using win 32 disassembler it's quite famous one so let's open the exec file so of course it will reside on your program files so always make sure to make a copy in case of your mess with something so you can return back to your original copy so me I already done that so I will disassemble the executable file which is winrar.exec so I will open it okay here we go now let's search for the keyword evaluation so I will go to search and find text so I can type just evaluation hit enter and here we go so this is the reference to our string and if you look just before it you will see a couple of jumps so there is a jump here and there is a jump here and if you're not this address here 449EC1 there is a reference to it in this jump here okay so and just before this jump there is a very interesting jump jump not equal with this address here so maybe if we turn this jump to another jump for example here it states jump not equal maybe if I change it to jump equal it will change our routines and will have the effect that we don't have an evaluation copy anymore so this is our what we call a bad jump so I'm gonna actually write down this address here so I'll be using it for changing it using my hex editor so for example let me see that uh, address here so I will just highlight it so it will be easy for me so the address is 00449EB0 okay so I, I can type the corresponding hex values which 75 7A and I can type the code the, hex, the assembler code jump not equal 00 449 F to C okay so now let's fire up our hex editor so you can use anyone you want I'll be using this famous one called HIEW32 so in order to make it easy I put it in the same directory where my exec WinRAR file resides so I will search for it here here it is so I will hit enter 
then I will hit F4 to change the mode so F4 I will go to mode decode then I will go to search for this address here so in order to search for this address you will hit F5 and just you tap dot then the, the number after the zero zero so I will tap just 449E and P0 I will hit enter and here we go as you see we have our instruction here with jump if not zero which is equal to jump if not equal actually so our mission is to change this jump if not zero to jump if zero so if you look on the net you will see that the corresponding hex value for jump if zero is 74 so I'll put it just here to remind you so jump not zero the hex value is 74 and the jump if zero oh I reverse it is 75 actually and jump if zero is 74 so I have to change 75 to 74 so in order to do that I will hit edit with F3 oh yes it's read only mode so that's normal because you should execute each view with administrative privileges so I will hit and execute it as an administrator so I will repeat it again so this is WinRAR I will go to uh, change the mode to the code then F5 then I hit address dot 449E B0 okay now in order to change this value from 75 to 74 I will just hit F3 and I can change the value from 74 to 70 so from 75 to 74 so I'll hide just 74 and I update it using F9 okay then I will exit using F10 so let's execute our program once again okay you will notice that we don't have this title here evaluation copy anymore but we still have this nag screen here this nag dialog box which is please register okay so I will try to crack this one also and get rid of it so I will open once again my WinRAR application then I will look for the keyword please register so as you can see here we have the name reminder so this name here is very important it remind us to register our application so now let's look for this keyword here reminder so I will go search and find text and type reminder okay here it is and if you look at this code here we have here very important reference to a dialog box so dialog box param a so maybe this is our nag dialog box that appears and remind us of to register so I will look just before it as always so there is a jump here okay so this jump and there is test and there is a jump also and this is our interesting or bad jump as the first case here is jump if not equal so maybe if we change the jump here to jump if equal I will get rid of my dialog box so I will note the address as always 
so the address is 0043 F F E 7 F I will type the hex values 75 22 and the instruction the assembly instruction jump if not equal to this address here 43 F E B3 so our mission is to change at this memory address so this offset here change this jump if not equal to jump if equal and we'll see what we're going to find out okay so I will quit my assembly language assembly program okay here we go so 43 F E 7 F so I'll change that using the F3 key okay now I'll change it to 74 and to update it with F9 as always F9 then to exit our program with F10 so now let's see if we really cracked this WinRAR program so I will run it so I don't have the evaluation copy and the NUG screen disappeared so now you have cracked your file archiver you don't have any dialog box that appears and shows you that you must register so that was just a practical example how you can use a Windows disassembler in order to reverse engineer an application using hex editor as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.